It's especially rewarding to see all the individuals who get on the bus and talk about the work that they're doing and see their passion and see how vested they are in these projects. When I joined List Milwaukee, I set out to simplify the experience and create a bus tour based on a single neighborhood so that we could better tell the story of what's happening in a comprehensive way to revitalize a single neighborhood. I wanted people to walk down the sidewalk, trip over the sidewalk cracks, smell the tortillas frying, taste the papaya salad at the corner store. I wanted them to hear the kids playing in the park and to shake hands with the 28-year-old housing developer who grew up in the neighborhood. All those things that really make a neighborhood a neighborhood and hopefully with all those delicious little bites of stories and information, people would get a small glimpse into the complexity of community development in our city. I went on a bus tour with Liz you know, a couple years ago. I had never been on a bus tour. And I'm, you know, I'm a city planning commissioner. I've been executive director for a community-based organization for 20 something, 23 years. I was impressed with the work that you know, these other community-based organizations are doing in the city of Milwaukee. I was thoroughly impressed. As a matter of fact, when I got off that bus tour, I was excited. It has opened my eyes and opened areas of the city that I, I would never have ventured into. And I've gone back to visit some of those areas and gone to a restaurant that I wasn't aware of. And seeing some of those projects coming to pass that's making that neighborhood better. The list bus tours allow me to talk about some of the great things that were actually happening in our neighborhood. A lot of times people will drive past and they see it, but no one will, will be able to explain it to them. And so for me as a Main Street manager, it was great to be able to say, hey, now that I got this group of people here on this bus tour, this is a new business that's opening up. Or we have a development coming through. A lot of times you don't hear that type of good story on our news. It's not often that community people or community organizations get an opportunity to have a captive audience of funders, bankers, other folks, to be able to tell them exactly what it is that we do. And to be able to take them around and show them what it is that we do in these neighborhoods and also be able to have an opportunity to stop sometime and have community people get up there and say, hey, what these folks are doing is important, needed in our neighborhoods. And look here, this is some of the good work that they're doing. It's not sitting behind a desk anymore. It becomes real when you take a tour of these neighborhoods and realize where your dollars and your efforts are going to. And you walk away feeling so good about not only yourself, but taking pride in the organization that took the risk to be out there and you know, provide these funds or the support to make it real. So when talking about having a bus tour in the Harambe neighborhood, I said yes, you know, definitely, uh, because that gives us the opportunity to have a, you know, a captive audience of folks and to be able to tell them our story. So I thank you and thank Liz for the bus tours. List Milwaukee hosts about 10 bus tours a year, and we work with a whole variety of partners, including Freighter Health and Hospitals, Downtown Rotary Club, Women's Club, Boards of Directors of Foundations, our lending partners, and a whole variety of other people who really care about the Central City and want to learn more about what they can do to help.